and well hello guys and welcome back to the channel and today unexpectedly we have with ourselves the newest chapter of Boku no Hero Academy 114 of its name after the after the results actually after the results and we start this week's chapter with a very nice and sinister call a page with the main villain I forgot his name and his lady villain here which whose name I also forgot. So you guys have to forgive me. My Hero Academy oops sorry my Hero Academy is a is an is a manga with a lot of characters at the same time and a lot of names so and they all have those Japanese names that I I said in last chapter I'll butcher them all every time so I hope you guys can forgive me that and so let's begin, lurking in the darkness and sharpening their fangs. This is a really good point. The villains have been have been in hiding lately, so we don't really know when they will strike. So we start off the chapter seeing who from class A was able to pass. And it looks like all of them were able to pass. So we have Minata, we have this lady here, Ida, this guy here who... Urarakan, we have the shadow guy, the tape guy, the waste beam guy. <laughs> All of them are something guy. Um, okay. So yeah, all of them except, as I guessed, except Bakugo and Todoroki have failed. So all the members of class A have passed except Todoroki and Bakugo. Oh, what this guy? What does this guy want now? Yowarashi. He's going towards. Jesus, he's a tower. Oh, what? How the hell is he able to do that? He like crossed his legs and completely bowed until he hit with his head in the ground. Talk about extreme, right? Oh, okay. He's apologizing for. Allowing, not allowing, but he thinks he's to blame for Todoroki's failure. He shouldn't blame himself. No one should blame themselves for the for the problems of others, unless they really have something to do with that. But in this case, I don't think Yorashi has something to do with that. Yeah, exactly. As Todoroki says, he's just reaping what he's sown. Because, yes, so... During the long journey up to now, even more so than my drive to become a hero, I could only think of myself as his son. He's yet to cut that bond between him and his father, of always being in his shadow and hating his father and the power that he bestowed upon him. But he's gonna have to live with that, so... <laughs> Bakugo is pissed as hell. <laughs> Looks like... He... Oh, me... Who's Meet Senpai? Just like Meet Senpai said. Wait, there was that guy that they fought against. That they were that he was able to transform them into like a ball of meat. Wasn't he was able to swell them into a ball of meat? Was it? I guess so. Yeah, I, I don't really remember that. So yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is just like, yeah, you may be the top two, but you're like, you're like egocentric and egotistic, and yeah, your personality, your personality is backfire, and not, not <laughs> and then he just, just comes and shut up. He <laughs> doesn't even say anything. It's just like, just, just shut up. Don't, don't, don't talk. So yeah, now. Everyone's kind of feeling sorry for Todoroki. And <laughs> this guy keeps with his head on the ground. Uh, okay, now the announcer is speaking. Okay. Oh, the specifics of your scoring. So people will be able to see what they did good or bad and when and where they lost points. Okay. So they are... They are now reviewing their, their scores. Oh, okay. So the cutoff line was midway through, was 50 points. I believe they started with 100, wasn't it? So, yeah, the cutoff line was 50 points. And they 
for each action wrong, wrongly done, they would they would discount some points. So this guy got 61. This one got 84. Really? Nice. Yao Momo got 94. Ooh, ooh. How many how many did, did Midoriya get? So let me see. Either got either got 80. And Midoriya only got 71. Why? Okay, so rather than my actions themselves, it was my conduct. Oh, okay. My conduct before taking action, that was the problem. Like my legs just freezing in place and stuff like that. So it's not like he actually did things wrong. But um, taking longer to take action can prove disastrous in this situation. So that's where he lost a lot of points. Uh, Ita did quite well as well. They, the, their scores are not that bad. Yao Momo just got nearly a perfect score. I wonder if anyone got a perfect score at that. Speaking of which. So, okay, now, it was a point deduction grading system. There was, there was no addition of points, and anyone who fell below 50 points failed. They used a system that didn't allow for recovery, and yet... Okay, yeah. Why were they allowed to continue until the very end without being asked to exit the exam the moment they dropped below 50 points? Very good point, actually. I mean, it. I guess it's because in a real-life situation, you can't just have someone there and say, okay, that hero is not doing anything good, take him out of the premises. You can't really do that. Even if they did not achieve the least 50 points, they did something right. They were able to suppress the villain long enough so that the other heroes could rescue the civilians. They did something good. And it's not like in a real life situation all the heroes can be can be allocated into saving civilians or all being allocated to fight the villains. There needs to be a balancing. And I guess that in this situation, Todoroki and Yoarashi are actually more suited to fight the villain than actually help the civilians. So it's 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 that situation. Imagine if the announcer just go, okay, that guy and that guy, you, you get out of the exam. And just like that, it, it would not only be unrealistic comparing to a real-life situation, and it would put the situation in a worse matter altogether. So I guess that's that's why. I don't know if, they'll, if they're going to explain that, but let's see. Okay, so now the announcer is talking a lot. Okay, so, oh, nice, they are now granted the permission to exercise the pri privileges equals to that of the pro heroes. So now they can fight against villains, con conduct disaster and ac accident relief, and things like that. Okay, so they don't need orders to actually act. They are closer and closer to becoming real heroes. Very good. Okay. Again, Mid Senpai. Yeah, it's gotta be that. It's gotta be that guy, which I don't. I don't even remember his face. Maybe it's this guy in the second. I don't know. Okay, I'm not sure you where the hero was. The okay, so he's talking about All Might. Yeah, known as All Might has exhausted all of his power. So basically, he's like saying that. Now that All Might is gone, the beacon of beacons, villains will get more and more aggressive and their attacks will be more and more severe from now on. So there's, not, there's no longer a balance because of All Might. So in the not-so-distant future, you all as pro-heroes will set the new standard. You too will become a pivotal existence which can inhibit and curtail evil. You must not forget, however, that as things stand now, you merely hold provisional hero activity licenses. Think of it as being not even half of a full-fledged hero. <laughs> not even half. Therefore, we wish for you to resume your studies at each of your schools with even further zeal and diligence. And lastly, <laughs> to all those who were not fortunate enough to pass, 
you do not have the luxury of allowing yourselves to be dejected over losing too many points. That's right. Oh, there is still a chance remaining for you all. After first attending a special training course in March, if you produce strong results on your individual tests, we intend to issue all of you provisional licenses as well. Okay. In order to cope with the from now on situation, which I mentioned just earlier. Above all else, we desire high quality heroes and as many of them as possible. Although this was a dropping exam, so to speak, we simply wish to nurture the growth of, of the 100 who we selected to the greatest extent possible. So yeah, they really, nowadays, they really don't have the luxury of just saying, okay, so we, we root out 50 of those and that's it. They go back to year one, do everything again. They can't really do that. They need the heroes now more than ever. And for that very reason, we observed you all right. Okay, so that's why. Okay, yes, th this is what I was saying. And by no means did the result you demonstrate to us show no promise. So it's not like it's not likely they've done everything wrong. If they had done anything wrong, they would have been expelled in the first exam. And those and that first exam was already to narrow it down a lot. So these 100 are like are clearly the best on, out of a lot of heroes, so they really need to be nurtured. On the contrary, if you but rectify the points which you lost on this exam without exception, you all you have all proven to be candidates whose abilities exceed even those who passed. Yes, it's true. I do believe you'll be quite busy while having to balance the special training with your current schoolwork, but I personally have no objections to you all attempting to re-challenge the exam in April. You better believe I will. <laughs> These three guys just on fire to start. Man, that's great, Todoroki. Hey, give it up <laughs> oh, a minute. I just, there's no need. Oh, he's trying to keep being the best. I'll catch up real soon. And so finally, the provisional license exam is now over. We are all one big step closer to becoming real heroes. So now he has a good guy. Look at his face. He's like, I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> oh my God. Hero named Deku. Oh, yes. Midoriya Izuku. Hero named Deku. You've done it, Midoriya, my boy. Yeah, done it. <laughs> He's nearly crying. Deku, are you crying? No, no you see. Uh, I've been helped by so many different people along the way and also caused trouble for more for even more people to finally get here. So how should I put this? Yeah, that's right. This is a proof that I'm actually growing and improving. And thinking about that, I just feel so happy. Yeah, goddamn right. <laughs> I'm going to show this to my... This to mom and all might right away. <laughs> He's taking a picture of the of the card. Yes, because they they are now on that on that campus. They are not allowed to go. I mean, they are allowed, I guess, but they now sleep on the campus now, is it? And the Raraka is just happy for him. Just confess your love to him already. Okay, so this other lady is talking with a razor. Ooh, nice. <laughs> I'll see you again at the special training. Honestly, I still kind of don't like you. <laughs> uh, so I just wanted to apologize in advance. Oh, God. Wh what? Exactly what kind of training did you do in order to be able to erase your presence like that? What? Oh, wait. We don't have any training of that sort. Yeah, she she's really not. She she's one of the villains, isn't she? Yeah, 
Yeah. She's not really who she appears to be. I finally got through to you. Where were you and well, what the hell have you been doing this whole time? So yeah, this is the lady that appears on the cover. Toga. The villain Toga. Oh, I knew it. I was playing some delightful games. Do not neglect making regular contact. If I just if just one of us are caught, then it puts us all in danger. Don't worry, there's not a problem. I've been living all this time without being found after all. And what's more, my little excursion turned out to be quite fruitful. Tomura will be happy why you ask. Togei Miku Quirk Metamorphosis. Through ingesting the blood of others. Oh my god. She has Midoriya's blood. <gasps> oh my god. I've obtained little Izuku's blood. She can shape shift and take on their appearance. Oh my god! Jesus! You remember how I was speaking about the villains at the beginning of the video? About it about if they were going to show up at the end of the chapter? Yeah, next time I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Just just to avoid you know, just to avoid any sort of jinx. So this will be fun to watch. Someone who can take Midoriya's appearance. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Oh God, I... That's why the villains appear on the front page. Jesus. Midoriya will have some serious trouble from now on. But the, the, the thing is, surely she can take on, on his appearance. But if she acts using his appearance while he's together with other people, then... She can't really get away with it. People will believe, at least his friends and Eraser, will believe in Midoriya, surely. So, but then again, it's not enough. If the general populace thinks that Midoriya is a villain, then it would be hard for them to be convinced unless they get physical evidence that the fake Midoriya is in fact a villain. Jesus. Because the problem is, she was able to maintain three days with that appearance from the girl, the girl from the girl from Shikeku. So there's no telling how many days she can go impersonating Midoriya. She can really get up to some damage. Jesus, this is starting to shape up. What I really love about My Hero Academy is that normally I there's not a lot to go on to predict future future occurrences. In other mangas you can think of certain certain hints and clues that the authors give along the along the ride, but for my Hero Academy I really don't unless I'm really that blind to them. But my god, I, I just I love this chapter. I was not expecting this end. The chapter itself was not a very fast paced chapter. It was it was one of those chapters that are necessary to to further the story, just like this week's chapter of the of the seven deadly sins, for example. It it was a chapter needed to advance story. It did its purpose, but this ending this ending is shapes up the entire of the next few chapters, whether it will be the start of the special training or even the the start of of the villain's attack. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Once again, this was this was a pretty straightforward chapter, so I don't think there's anything here that's worth a second review. I believe that my first reactions are more than enough. If you guys disagree, please do let me know. 
do let me know if you are enjoying this sort of live reaction slash review or if you would still prefer me to do just the reviews it's as you guys would wish i will try to come to come to cope with that and i hope to see you in a little bit if the one piece chapter indeed releases today if not i'll see you tomorrow with another video bye bye